Turkish leading defense company Aselsan has successfully tested its Gokberk mobile anti-drone air defense weapon which uses laser and electronic warfare to counter UVs. The test verified Gokberk's ability to track and destroy FPV threats automatically under various scenarios. The company added that this system will now play a critical role in Turkey's national air defense system, Steel Dome. Gokberk now showcased its advanced capabilities by detecting, autonomously tracking, and eliminating FPV drones across multiple test scenarios, demonstrating exceptional speed and precision in engagement. According to Aselsan, the system utilizes a combination of electronic warfare systems and high-energy lasers to either soft-kill or hard-kill targets. Gokberk unites the company's ITAR platform and the laser weapon on a platform with 6x6 mobile deployment capability instead of a distributed architecture. Gokberk uses an indigenous laser source with high beam quality for hard kill destruction of targets, while also providing soft kill destruction with an electronic jammer developed by Aselsan. The system can perform precise tracking with various electro-optical systems on the guidance unit. The system also uses artificial intelligence to provide unparalleled tracking and target identification. Aselsan explains that this helps the system knock out potential threats at unprecedented speed. The system can operate autonomously 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and fire uninterruptedly for a long time. It creates maximum impact with minimum power and stands out as a cost-effective solution. What is Turkey's Steel Dome project? The Steel Dome system, referred to by A. Selsen, is part of Turkey's layered air defense system, which Turkish firms developed to protect airspace against all threats. Similar in concept to Israel's Iron Dome system, the nation sees it as a vital defensive requirement as tensions rise in the region. The Steel Dome is very promising system. All nations want to have this kind of system, Ahmet Akyol, president and CEO of A. Selsen, told Breaking Defense.